All right, so we're going to be continuing looking at the Vintage Series. Uh, let's take a look at the Punisher. Now, I made up my mind that I'm not going to open up the Punisher. And we're just going to do a quick side-by-side uh, -side comparison. And I'll show you some of the differences. All right, let's turn this sideways. Let that rotate real quick. All right, let me move this chair. Um, some of the major differences are going to be with the Vintage Series. It doesn't have that harnessed across his chest, that strap with the grenades and the shotgun shells. Uh, you can see that here on the Walgreens exclusive. That head that's on the body here uh, has a white bandana, no facial shading. Well, this one's gonna have a red bandana and some facial shading that actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's not five o'clock shadow like that but it's not bad and the head here has no shadowing or facial hair at all so that's one of the major things and this one without the you know strap across the chest it's just you know pretty plain paint apps looks pretty good though you know, a white on white with the white belt uh, other than that, there's no major, major changes that I can tell. Uh, supposedly, we were supposed to get uh, trigger fingers. Yep, we sure did. There you go. Trigger fingers on this Punisher. Maybe you can switch out the hands on these ones. Eh. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I should open this up. You know, the accessories. Got that nice machine gun there and that bazooka. Where well, this one has nothing other than that rocket launcher. Which isn't bad, but I suppose maybe they just wanted to give us something to tool, fool around with switch out heads or whatnot but I don't know you guys let me know what you think should I you know swap out the heads and do some comparisons like that speaking of heads yeah uh, I uploaded a video for a syndicate member who wanted to see this guy and while I was saying it wasn't bad or shabby, it's got quite a few issues after looking at it. Like this is hindered. You no, know, it, it it would turn, but it doesn't. You can see that, that there's a hinge in there. But it doesn't give you anything at all. No give, no rocker. I mean, it's going to move and stuff, but it ain't going to do much at all. And... I don't remember the other one having a boot cut, but this one does, which is okay, but here's this major issue. Now, if you turn his head, he's going to give you, like he's looking upwards just a little. So it's kind of like where it's made that way. But the disappointing thing about this is there's no hinge in here. So if you wanted to try to make him look up, it won't go without just popping off so I mean I was hoping maybe some you know uh, ab articulation would try to make up for him looking up like if he was in flight or whatever there's no downward uh, you know he can't look down at all this is so disappointing yeah this turned out to be not a good fig you know, I was trying to like it trying to dig it but no I mean, this is an easy pass. If uh, 
I were you guys, I probably probably would pass on this one. Yeah, but it's not bad. You know, and I, I kind of like the other version of it where it had the bigger boots and the bigger feet. Now, uh, back over to this guy. Uh, what else? Alright, let's check out that UPC. There's that. Quick read up. If you want to read it, pause it. Got that from Shardimus, by the way. I'm not going to steal his stuff and not give him a shout out. Uh, like I did in the last video. He calls that a combat weapon. What the hell kind of combat weapon is that? But yeah, I mean, maybe we can get some dope swap outs or something. I don't know. We can try something. If you guys come up with any ideas and give me a good reason to crack these open, I will. Uh, let's see what else we got. We can look at. Yeah, I got quite a few things here that uh, I'm going to be trying to go over sooner than later. Just bags and build -a figures and whatnot. And yeah, there's this guy. Has caught. I'm going to do a comparison with the uh, the other Deadpool. Maybe I should whip this one out. And uh, show you guys what these two will look like facing off. Maybe somebody's done that already. I don't know. But yeah, there's uh, quite a few things in here we can go to. This runs pretty deep, so I don't know. There's about seven or eight Nick Furies in there. Now, let's, I also want to show you guys some of these damn things, too. But that goes all the way back, all the way back. I don't know if you can get a look at that. But if you guys come up with anything where you guys want to see a review on something, let me know. Uh, we're going to do a Wolverine next. Uh, definitely not cracking that one out yet. I don't know if I'm going to open that yet. But we'll do uh, side by side like we did the uh, Punishers with that guy there and see what we come up with. See what we come up with. And maybe these two. I don't have the original Pizza Spidey. I actually sold the hell out of that one. Um, anyway. Or even if you guys want to see some Hydra 2-pack reviews, let me know. Can't get over that uh, Aries hat. Maybe we can crack open the Aries and put that on there and see how that looks without the uh, blackened out eyes. Maybe you guys be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my YouTube channel. And uh, maybe I'll post more videos.